Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. The shoe don't fit. Okay, so I don't know why, but the song the Boys to Men end of the road follow me down to the end of the road i don't know why i'm getting mostly love readings lately it hasn't been about money it hasn't been about success it, it's been about feelings i guess because venus is in scorpio and everybody wants something deep and meaningful here And I do feel like there's an empress here who feels left out in the cold and waiting for her king of cups. Waiting on something that isn't a five of pentacles. Maybe Pisces, maybe you got ghosted or you ghosted somebody else because you're waiting for another energy to come in you're you're looking for something that maybe you can follow to the end of the road do scorpio energy it's what 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 your challenge is here is ta da i think they're about to show up whoever this person is yes scorpio got taurus and libra so hierophant King of Wands, ta-da. Could be a Sag, could be a Scorpio, could be a um, Taurus. Let's see. Most recent past. Ten of Pentacles. So I do feel like somebody came into some money, Pisces. And they're looking at you. They're looking at you. They want to collaborate. They want to come in and offer you something. I know you don't care about the money, but I do feel like this this is going to set you up. The chariot in the immediate future. This person is coming. You don't see this coming with the moon here. They're coming. This is going to be growth. Even if you don't see it that way right now, Cancer and Pisces energy now. I don't feel like you're you're seeing. I say I think you're seeing this as a shocker, as so, as a sort of maybe a pleasant surprise, but it's definitely a surprise. You've waited, you've waited for somebody. This is the factor affecting the situation. Whoever you were waiting on or whatever you were waiting on, it's here. King of Wands, King of Swords, it's here. And this person is coming in and they're coming in hot. So, yeah. Nine of Cups. Wish granted. Three of Pentacles and the King of Swords. This person wants to wants to work with you. They want they want to offer you something long term. Long term. Hopes and fears, Ace of Cups. And I do feel like this is this is new Pisces. This is something like I said, you were not allowing anybody else into your life unless they were this kind of energy. It's your justice, Pisces. Like I said, it could be Cancer, it could be Scorpio, it could be a Taurus, it could be a Libra. But they're coming, Pisces. They're coming quick, too. Might be here for Christmas. They want something with you long term. And with that song coming out, I think that's what they want from you. Follow me down to the end of the road. 
because you hot. You looking good. You looking good. Um, this could be even a creative project and something that you love because the Knight of Wands can be your creativity as well. It's coming from your so your sacral chakra. But like I said, I do feel like this person sees you and is coming towards you. You are their truth. You are their justice. And they want only you. Especially in the boom boom. Be looking awfully good to this person. Ta-da. Yeah, I keep getting the ta-da. Now we got the sun with the six of swords. So... Okay, I put my arms, legs back on, and ta-da, I'm here, swing. Pisces, you're over here going, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> I got what I need, what you got, kind of energy. Or as Manny said in my chat room, yeah, I'm calling you out, dude. Um, <laughs> it says, uh, it ain't cheap being this handsome. <laughs> Typical Pisces. But I do feel like you're in a very receptive mode at this point. You are willing to listen to somebody and hear them out at this time. Probably because you're just that, you're just a sweetheart, you know. You like giving. And whoever this person is, is your justice because they're giving back to you but you've probably given away to so many people. Four of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the World card on the Five of Cups. So, and the Empress. So this is, wow, that is loud. Um, so this person's been spying on you, probably for quite some time. It's the King of Pentacles who's about to send you a message. Do not put genders on the cards because just because they say he or she it's an energy okay so you could be the empress here male or female and this could be male or female uh king of pentacles it's somebody who's very financially abundant very very stable could be the taurus that we saw earlier I wouldn't do a Taurus personally, but that's up to you, Pisces. And there's the Scorpio energy, King of Cups. Wow. Six of Swords and the, and the Page of Wands. Messenger. On their way. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Pisces, I do believe you're going to have your choice in love and growth and energy. With the World card here, this is a karmic completion. You have graduated. I do feel like you're coming into some kind of abundance here. And you're going to have your choice in love. All these energies might be coming at you at once. And you'd be like, ah, oh, I don't know. I like that Rihanna, that Rihanna thing that I had where she's looking at her phone going, who is this? <laughs> I don't remember giving you my number. Maybe you did, Pisces, and you just don't remember. What is this Ten of Pentacles in the most recent past? Because I do feel like whoever this person is, they just came into a lot of money. And they want to come share it with you, Pisces. Yeah, so it could be a Scorpio because there's the death card. The lovers and sharing. Six of Pentacles. Being generous, giving you some kind of a, a gift here. What is, the, uh, what is the chariot about? What is that chariot about? Could be here by the full moon. Ta-da! Again. This person's jealous. 
Oh my goody goody. They want to offer you a cup before anybody else has a chance to because they're jealous. They got they got serious, serious jealous issues. They're like going, uh-uh, that's mine. Uh-uh, that's mine. Follow me down. Very romantic. I, I have I have to give this person credit. They're very um they got game, okay? Not unlike the last person that tried to ask me out had absolutely no game. This person's got game. Pisces. With the with the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands, yeah. And they jealous of anybody else that's offering you that cup. So they come in quick. Before anybody else gets a chance. Gotcha. The chariot on the chariot. No way. This is definitely some kind of Cancerian energy. The star. And like I said, they're going to try to beat out the competition before it gets to you. I think it already it's already started, Pisces. I can't fight this feeling deep inside of me. Girl, you just don't realize what you do to me. Holy shit. <laughs> Devil, Tower, Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, Five of Cups. I'm sorry. I want to fix this. Please, 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 please. Please let me come into your life. Please, please, please. Pisces, this is going to be kind of a miracle. After all you've been through, you've been you've been through a lot. <coughs> this person, they're strong enough. They're they're strong enough to take you on as far as what they've experienced, what you've experienced. I think you guys will get along really well. Uh, and maybe not at first. Maybe this person's coming a little too aggressive. Which I do feel like they're, they're, they're quite aggressive, Pisces. And you may not react well to that. So you are waiting for your justice. And here it comes. Alright. Page of Wands to the Six of Swords. Coming in, coming in hot. King of Wands, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, definitely coming in hot with all the swing. The only one we ain't seen yet is the Ace. All right, what is this Nine of Cups? Is the outside influence spirit? What is the Nine of Cups? This is pretty cut and dry reading. If you ain't dealing with a Cancer or, or, or a, a, what else did I call it, Scorpio? I don't know what you're dealing with here. Somebody's going to tell you how they feel, Pisces. They love you. Gemini energy. This person loves you. Mm-hmm. They think you're hot. They think you're super hot. They don't... It's like they don't have... Anybody else in mind except for you. They're realizing how they feel about you. I, I don't know. If this this looks like something new, Pisces. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Transformation. The hope or the fear here is that maybe you do have a past soulmate coming back. And this is, this is why this person is coming forward, because they know. They know it. They know they've got competition. And they want to get to you first. Ta-da! They want to get to you first, Pisces. They know that a past life soulmate's coming in, too. They know. They can see it. They can feel it. And they're jealous. Super jealous. And they're like, ah, nope. 
that's mine. Follow me down to the end of the road. Cause I can't let you go. They may have to fight the past for your attention. I don't know. Six Pentacles. Like I said, this person wants to bring a whole brand new beginning to this situation. Ta-da! They're here. They're here. Type energy. What is this Knight of Wands in the final outcome about? You got this person smoking, Pisces. Smoking. Smoking. Can't make it up. This person knows they hurt you in some way, shape, or form. Maybe somebody from the past, or they see you as somebody who's been very hurt. And they bring in a cup of love your way. And I do feel like this isn't somebody new because they see you as somebody that's hurt, possibly by the players in your life or by. The choices that you've had in the past. The choices that you've had in the past in the Ace of Cups. So, this person sees you as the one, Pisces. They bring in you a full cup of love. And they're willing to fight the past for your affection. I mean, they're willing to do whatever it takes because they see the Three of Swords in you. They see what these other people have done and played in your energy and hurt your feelings. And they want to help change that. They want to bring you the Ace of Cups. Which, in, in this case, I feel like is unconditional love. You got Sag and Virgo here with the Two of Cups. So you could have your choice between a Sag and a Virgo here. Both of them look like viable options, Pisces. Yeah, look. Which one you gonna pick? Are you going to pick either one of them? You might not pick either one of them. I don't know. With the lovers here, that tells me that you're going to have a choice between two. Lovers and the Empress. Could be a Sag and a Scorpio, or a Sag and a Virgo, or a Sag, Scorpio, and a Virgo. What I'm seeing, though, Pisces, is you have no idea right now. Well, you might now. You're about to be very, very surprised at the way this person is going to come in and address you. Like I said, that that song, follow me down to the end of the road because I can't let go. It's unnatural. This person is, is like waking up that they either have to be fair or they have to let you go. They have to be fair to you or they have to let you go. They can't keep holding on to your energy like this. Whether or not you're with this person, if they're still hanging on to your energy, fighting to hold on to your energy, one of them is. They're not going to be able to do it for very long. Yeah, I told you, this person is seriously jealous. They got some big old jealous streak happening here. We have the empress, the fertility, the triumph, and spirit, financial and material changes. So there's something happening here. It's changing everything. Somebody's trying to ride in. There's a chariot again to change your life. Pisces, they, I, I do feel like your heartbreak is the, the challenge here. Your heartbreak, what you've already been through, is the challenge here. 
but you have somebody who doesn't have all the right intentions for the Empress. And I feel like you know, you know this already. You're in a high priestess mode right now. You already know that this person doesn't have the highest intention for you. One of them. Somebody else here is in love with you, infatuated with you, believes that you belong together. The other one is jealous. And they're coming in to try to stop this other person to get in the way, to be an obstacle. Make sure you're paying attention to what's in those cups, my loves. That's all I'm going to say about that. Because whoever this is coming in, one of them is like, they're, 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 both of them are super in love. But one of them is coming from a place of jealousy. And five of swords, five of wands, you know, so that would be less than ideal. I would suggest you get all the facts before you take anybody up on the office. We have a home. We have a gift. We have a message of concern. Courthouse, distant horizons, and a mature man. So Pisces, you're going to find out something here about an older man that left you something. They left you something. Why am I getting a... Di okay, so I feel like this person may have left the United States if you're in the, in the U.S. They left, and they left something for you. I have no idea what that means, Pisces. I have no idea what that means. But I feel like maybe this person went away. I don't feel like they might have. This might be an inheritance. They might have went away, went away. And that is, that's what's coming towards you. Wow. That took kind of a, a weird turn. So maybe one of these people was somebody that you were with before and they wrote you in their will. Or it, it might be a father. Could be a dad. Alright. So abundance, keep a positive mindset and manifest exactly what you want with gratitude and bliss. So you are doing that, Pisces. Whoever this person is that's coming in with this offer, I don't think you're going to take them up on it. I think you're going to run, Forrest, run. You've had enough. And I don't feel like you want to even know. I mean, soulmates and, and lighthearted finding out the dragonfly in reverse, both of them in reverse. I think you don't, you don't want to know. It's like you don't want to know. Well, you're going to know anyway, Pisces. You're going to find out anyway, whether you want to know or not. That tower's coming in, and you're going to have to open your eyes and see it. I feel like you are fighting it. You are fighting it 110%. That you don't want to be involved, I don't think, with anybody right now. But this tower isn't going to leave you much of a choice. This card says, I am aware I've caused a lot of chaos and pain in your life. Like I said, it could be a dad, it could be an ex-husband. It's a mature man. They know what they've done. They're trying to make up for it. I think they're looking for forgiveness, Pisces. There's that darkness within me I need to overcome to be ready. To be ready for what? 
I've realized that there's a strong bond between us. So that could be the other person coming in, Pisces. Somebody is seriously, seriously jealous, though. They've got, they've definitely got some kind of ego issues here. I don't know if that is a person that they know or a person you know or I don't know what that is. I don't pretend to know everything. I don't want to know everything. Like I said, <laughs> this is definitely me. I don't see you. What do you mean, soulmates? I don't know what you're talking about here. Yeah. I've had enough of your running shit. I've had enough of your shit. I'm done. <laughs> and this person's trying to sing boys to men. Follow me down to the end of the road. And Pisces going, bitch. I don't see you. Clean your mental and physical clutter. You will feel so much better. And stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders, Pisces. Be in the present time now. Stop worrying about what all these other people are doing. Because I feel like you're going to run anyway. Open your heart. Not just a little. All the way. And let the love flow in. Because there's somebody here who wants to give you everything, Pisces. Everything. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, being fair to you after something they may have put you through. I said, whether that be a family member, a father figure, or um, an ex of some kind. Like I said, somebody left you a gift, and I don't know what that means. They left you a gift. You could be doing some traveling, Pisces. With all these with all these travel cards coming out, you could definitely be doing some traveling. Whatever this is, it's about to be uh, exposed. Prison wave in reverse. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> it means you overcome some kind of challenge. And we got the Shadow Queen in reverse. Like I said, I do feel like this is that other person that's like, a, like almost like a deviant watching things unfold for you. Jealous as hell, wondering why you're getting this kind of a gift and, and, and really hate knowing you for it. Okay. So this is acquiring knowledge, insecurity, and manipulation. It says, the Shadow Queen gently asks that you Address your innermost character flaws with compassion. For now, it's time to bring your wounded self and hidden agendas into light. You're seeing the, intent, you're seeing the tangible results of those aspects of your nature that have in, evolved in response to the difficulties in your life. They've been a means to help you survive. Perhaps... You're falling prey to insecurity masked as elitism and arrogance, believing that you know what's best, to comparing yourself with others, or to being fearful and self-sabotaging. Yeah. You may have been taught that manipulating others rather than being direct is the way to get your needs met. The Shadow Queen reminds you that manipulation in any form isn't the best method of getting what you want. Another meaning that can also apply is the possibility that you're being affected by someone else's wounded self. Perhaps you are the one being manipulated. Whatever the case, it's time to take a fearless personal inventory and observe what part you play in the dramas and potential disasters in your life. When you have come to the place of humility, forgiveness, and grace, then you may be then you may proceed again and walk into the light. There is great value and strength in facing your own shadow in the realm of the shadow queen. Pisces, I don't think you're facing the shadow. I think you're running. 
I think you're you're doing a run for us, run. I don't see you. I don't know what y'all talking about. I just want to go away. And 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 this person's coming in full force, trying to make the best of things. So you may want to hear them out. I don't know. Like I said, I do feel like there's a choice of two. One is new love. One is a past person. And then there's this hater in the middle of everybody that you don't want anything to do with. So, there's that. Anyway. <laughs> I hope that made sense to you. Made absolutely no sense to me. But okay. Anyway, I love you guys. Squirrel, I'll see you at 3 o'clock. Please remember to be there, be square, be round. Come on over and hang out with me. Let's have some fun. Bye for now.